teaching is my life. In other words, I consider myself a professional teacher. If I'm not very well prepared for a lecture, then I cannot Enjoy. sleep at night. I can see Robert is nervous. <laughs> and you can't blame him. This is not the greatest day of his life. <laughs> oh, by the way, I want you to know, I mean, we are not cruel here. He's wearing a bulletproof vest. Each one of my lectures, I dry run three times in real time. I dry run it about ten days before I give the lecture. Then I dry run it about three or four days before I give the lecture. And then I dry run it at 6 a.m. in the, of the day that I give the lecture. So in that sense, it is in a way like a performance whereby I cannot even go wrong anymore, even if I tried. Three, two, one, zero. We know from the number of hits that the number of people in the world that watch my lectures is about 3,000 per day. And that way you can demolish a building. You just let it hit and it breaks the building. There is a wi wide variety of people who watch my lectures. The freshmen and the sophomores who have to take these courses. So they watch these lectures because they, it helps them to pass the course. Then there are the people who are retired and who are getting bored and whose lives become pretty empty. And then they find my lectures and they write me wonderful notes how I have actually put new energy into their life. I have about a thousand and some of them make me cry because they are so moving, so immensely moving. Incredibly moving one from Iraq who said, look, you know, you, you, your country invaded my beloved Iraq, but we love you, Walter Lewin, we love MIT, so we must love the United States. I mean, that's an incredible statement. As long as I'm healthy, uh, physically and mentally, I will teach until I die in the classroom. Physics works, and I'm still alive. See you Wednesday.